Hey, accounting 455 team, some of you are having trouble with homework number 19, so I have written this out to try and help you. Hey, look, we have cash flow from assets equals cash flow to creditors plus cash flow to stockholders. And you already have the number or you've solved for it, minus 350, that's the cash flow from assets, equals, well, 565 bucks paid out to creditors plus we don't know this. Well, guess what? We get to do some algebra. Remember, that's an equation. You can do anything you want to an equation as long as you do it to both sides. So guess what? I need to isolate this x, so I'm going to go, hey, minus 565. Well, since I did it to this side, I got to do it over here also. That gives us minus 350 minus 565, and there's that equal sign, and we're left with X. Now, when you're creating the formula in the cell, that's just what you do. You click on that cell with the minus, and minus this cell with the plus. But guess what? We can solve it. Minus 915 equals ding, 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 ding. There's cash flow to stockholders. Now, guess what? We take this. And that's what was giving you some of you trouble. You had these two things you needed to solve for. Well, we can get this from somewhere else. So we just minus 915. And now we do algebra. Now this equation, cash flow to stockholders. Well, what do stockholders get? Well, dividends. So equals dividends paid minus any cash they gave us cash received from net new equity. Now let's do our algebra. I need to isolate x, so I'm going to go minus 908. Minus 908. Remember, we can do anything we want as long as it's to both sides. That leaves minus x equals minus 915 minus 908. Now guess what? You are not done. We need to get this x not as a negative, but as a positive. So how do we get rid of a negative? Times negative 1. Oh, right. A negative times a negative is a positive. Over here, times negative 1. So we get equals, bam, our x. But the formula over here, guess what? I have to multiply that by this whole thing. So I'm going to put parentheses. And then on the inside, minus 915 minus 908. And that's the formula you'd put in the cell. When we solve for it, well, we bring the minus in, 915. Bring the minus in, plus 908. And we are left with 1, 8, 2, 3 equals x. And guess what? That is the cash received from new or net new equity. All right, team, we'll see you next video.